Okay, so I wanted to put together a small tutorial on how to get rid of wind noise because a lot of times we're out in the real world, wind is happening. Obviously, the best way to get rid of that wind noise is with a dead cat on the mic. Um, but even sometimes if you have the dead cat, it doesn't work 100%. I'm going to throw this into the timeline down here. And I actually had a dead cat on this um, when I recorded, but it's still, you'll hear there's, there's still some wind noise in here so we're out in the it's called right field so you can still hear there's a bit of wind noise in there I'm gonna bring this volume up a little so you can hear it a little bit better so we're out in the it's called right field there's there's still that wind noise in there I probably brought that volume up a little too much let's bring it down just a touch so there is still a little bit of that wind noise in there. Um, so how do we get rid of it? Well, first, I'm just going to throw a quick channel EQ on here just to show you where that wind noise is. If we bring this up, uh, this is the channel EQ. And I'm going to turn on this analyzer, which will give us a visual representation of where the uh, where the audio is, what frequencies the audios are in. This is lower to higher frequencies moving left to right. So I'll turn that analyzer on, hit play. So we're out in the, it's called and you can see here that a, there's a lot of stuff way down here on the low end. Um, so what we want to do is we want to roll off that low end to help get rid of that, uh, that wind noise. So to do that, first I'm going to get rid of this channel EQ down here in your EQ. And by the way, if this isn't open, you just click on the, uh, the effects palette button here. Down here under your audio effects under EQ, there is is one called remove low frequencies so let's drop that on and then we'll open up its uh, window and see what it's doing so if you look what it's doing is it's rolling off these low frequencies down here you remember in our in our channel EQ where all of that uh, where all that stuff was down here this is just rolling off those low frequencies and you can adjust the amount of roll off over here by moving this up and down you'll notice it's it's eating away more at the low frequencies or less if you move to the left so let's just play uh, and then we're going to start moving that uh, that amount up so we're out in the it's called right field it's already not sounding bad let me give it a little more gain here so we can hear it a little better so we're out in the it's called right field up in Alpine. We don't want to go too kind of far because it'll start affecting the lower frequencies in my voice. So as I roll this up, you'll hear my voice gets really, really tinny. Kind of just big and flat and nice, easy walk. It's kind of really, really tinny there. We've rolled way too much off. So I'm going to bring this back until it's kind of at a comfortable level. It's kind of cool. So we're out in the, it's called right field. Kind of right about there. It's, it's, my voice up is getting a little out. tinny, little tinny, but it's knocking that, uh, that wind noise out. Alpine. It's kind of just big and flat and a nice, easy walk. It's kind of cool. All right, so that's how you drop some of that wind noise out. This is a very, very simple way of doing it. Um, the next thing I'm going to put together, because I, I really, really like, audio. I think audio is way more important to your video than your video is. Uh, the next thing I'll throw up is going to be a little tutorial on how to make your, your, uh, your dialogue audio better, how to sweeten it up through the use of EQs and through the use of compression.